if under root 1 minus under root of x, x power 4 minus x square equals to x minus 1, then what is the value of x? So, so let me you know write it uh, uh, in a way that you all can understand easily, right? It's like 1 minus x power 4 minus x square equals to x minus 1. Then he's asking us to find out the value of x. Now, there's no way, no other way other than, uh, you know, simplifying it, right? So, how do you simplify? Square root of 1 minus square root of x power 4 minus x square equals to x minus 1. Let's square it on both the sides, right? Squaring on both sides. And don't write SOBS in the exam, right? You won't be awarded extra marks for this. Directly square and simplify. So, square on both the sides, what do we get? See, this squared will cancel the root, right? It's like this. Square on this side and square on this side. So, this whole square under root gets cancelled. So, on the left hand side, we will have 1 minus root over x power 4 minus x squared. And on the right hand side, we will have x squared minus 2x plus 1. Right? x squared minus 2x plus 1. By the way, this plus 1 and plus 1 gets cancelled. So, what are we left with? We are left with x power 4 minus x squared equals to, you know, this x squared minus 2x can be taken as 2x minus x squared. Because we have a negative sign here, right? Minus sign here. I am multiplying this uh, on, on the right hand side. I mean, multiply both the sides with minus 1. So, this minus sign gets cancelled here. And when you multiply x squared minus 2x with minus 1, we are left with 2x minus x squared. Or I think we can take x common, by the way. You can take x common on both the sides. That will also simplify it further. Let, let me take x common. What happens? See, see I, I mean, I am writing all the steps in detail so that you can follow. But if you have understood what has to be done, then a lot of these steps can be avoided. Like, like the step that I am going to write now is not really needed. I will take x square common. So, what do we get? x square minus 1 here under root. And here we will take x common. We will get 2 minus x. Right? Now, if you, if you kind of understand, root over x square will give us x outside. And again, we have under root of x square minus 1, which is equal to x into 2 minus x. So, x and x get cancelled. So, the whole idea is to kind of cancel out one x on both the sides. But you don't need three steps for that. You can do it mentally as well. So, what are we left with? x square minus 1 equals to, under root of x square minus 1 equals to 2 minus x. Again, squaring on both the sides. Square on both the sides, what happens? So, squaring here and squaring here, this side. So, we have x squared minus 1, this under root n square gets cancelled, equals to 2 minus x whole square. So, that's like 4 minus 4x plus x square. Right? 2 minus x whole square is 4 minus 4x plus x square. So, x square and x square gets cancelled. We have uh, uh, 4x equals to 5. So, x equals to 5 by 4. x equals to 5 by 4. Right? 5 by 4, option 2 has to be the answer. Please understand that a uh, few of these steps can be avoided, right? You don't have to write every step on paper. So, cut down the number of steps and, you know, try and get the answer as quickly as possible. Don't waste your precious time by putting every step on paper. 5 by 4. Right? So, good. Many of you have got 5 by 4, but those all who have got minus 5 by 4 have to check where you have gone wrong. I think you kind of forgot about the negative sign that we had in step 1, right? After squaring both the sides. Five by four is the answer. It's not minus five by four. It's five by four. Well, Sachin has mentioned that it's too lengthy, but I don't agree with you, Sachin. Right? I mean, too lengthy because I've put all the steps. I think next time onwards I'll I'll cut down a few of these steps. But the only challenge is that will not help you understand maybe sometimes. See, it will not take more than 30 seconds. Believe me, if you have practiced such questions, it won't take more than 30 seconds. And I, I remember that Sachin had also mentioned that he has not gone through the videos. He wanted me to start from basics. I think it was you only, right, Sachin? So, so practice a few questions and I'm sure you'll get the confidence. It will not take more than 30 seconds. Believe me, 30 seconds, you'll get the answer as 5 by 4. And, and I'm surprised that a lot of you had skipped it, right? It is a simple question. Just square on both the sides. Any shorter way? I don't know here. Is there a shorter way of doing it? I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, we can probably spend some more time to see if anything else can be done. But substitution definitely is a no-no. I, I have no clue about how to proceed with substitution here, right? I mean, substitution here meaning you have to substitute the right. See, the shorter way is again, if not this, then go by options. Substitute the answer options one by one and see which one satisfies. But not very easy, right? 
See, he's asking us to find out the value of x. So from the options, substitute it back in the question, one after the other, and see which option satisfies. Should, should you, I mean, do you want me to try that? I think doing it directly is a better way of getting the answer. Because by any chance, if fourth option is correct, then you'll have to spend so much of time in, you know, eliminating one, two, and three, first, second, and third options. It's a simple question. Yeah? You can substitute the options back if you want. Just substitute the options back. Try to take that x common, x square common on the left hand side and then substitute so that it, it becomes a little easier. Let, let me show it to you. I think I'll show for one of the options. You can try the other ones. So that method is as follows, right? The second method is to go by options. Substitution, right? Substitution, reverse engineering. Go by the options. But then before that, I'll simplify what is there on the uh, left hand side. If you see, we have root over 1 minus x power 4 minus x square equals to x minus 1, right? Uh, so without doing anything on this expression, just take x square common here. So if you take x square common, we'll have x square times of x square minus 1, this step. I'm referring to this step. And you can take x outside there. So what do we have? 1 minus x times of root over x square minus 1 equals to x minus 1, right? Now probably substitution will help you verify it faster. So I'll, I'll go by option 1, right? What is going to be in option 1? Minus 5 by 4. Substitute minus 5 by 4. Wherever you have x, substitute minus 5 by 4. If it satisfies, that's the answer. Otherwise, go for the next option. So let's go by option 1, right? Option 1 would mean root over 1 minus, minus of minus 5 by 4. So minus of minus 5 by 4 will make it plus 5 by 4. And this is square root of 5 by 4 whole square is 25 by 16 minus 1 equals to uh, minus 5 by 4 minus 1 minus 5 by 4 minus 1 just check so root over 25 by 16 minus 1 is 9 by 16 9 by 16 is 3 by 4 so this will be root over 1 plus 5 by 4 into 3 by 4 and this will be on the left hand side we have minus of 9 by 4 now no way on planet will this be satisfied because you see what we have on the left hand side is a positive term whatever be the value it is definitely going to be positive because this is 5 times 3 15 by 16 uh, then root over 31 by 16 right it is definitely going to be positive what we have on the left hand side is negative how is it balanced it's not balanced right these are not equal hence option one is eliminated then you substitute option two and then option three and then option four till you find out the correct answer so let's let's substitute option two as well see what happens option two option two is what plus five by four so we'll have and i'm substituting option two here in this equation okay so we'll have i think i'll do one thing i'll clear this i don't have enough space i'll, I'll clear option one calculation space is always a constraint here on the screen substitute back option one option two now so what happens according to option two option two says it's five by four so we'll have root over one minus five by four as it is and then root over see 25 by 16 minus one is nine by 16 which is equal to 5 by 4 minus 1. 5 by 4 minus 1 is 1 by 4. See, cut down the number of steps. Then 9 by 16 is like 3 by 4. 5 by 4 into 3 by 4 is 15 by 16. 16 minus 15 by 16 is 1 by 16. Root over 1 by 16 is 1 by 4. You understand? Overall simplification will give you 1 by 4 equals to 1 by 4. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. How? By using option 2. Hence option 2 is the correct answer. Okay? So assuming any value or random substitution will not help, you can either go by the options or simplify straight.